So in my last video, I got into Harvard, Yale, Princeton, MIT, Columbia, Wharton, Brown, Dartmouth, UCLA, and UC Berkeley. And a lot of the 14 comments on that video wanted stats. And as someone who was a fiend for these videos, was a fiend for these videos when I was a freshman, I want to do my due diligence and provide a stats video. So this is going to be a really quick stats video. All right, let's talk about grades and standardized testing. I got a 4.48 weighted of 4. 3.95 uh, unweighted and then I got 1500 on the SAT. I took calculus one at Penn for a bit and I got a uh, A in that class so that was a 4.0. My school has advanced placement and international bachelorate. So here are all the tests I took. Most of them were senior year tests. So colleges barely saw any of my results. All right, I'm gonna give some advice between each section. So my advice for this one is low key. I think there's a threshold. Like, the difference between a 1500 and a 1300, yeah, that's huge. But, like, the difference between, like, a 1600 and a 1500, I feel like that's marginal. Like, I feel like once you are in the door, you're in the door, if you get what I mean. You, you get what I mean? All right, now let's talk about extracurriculars. I call these the big three because they were the main big things I did throughout high school. So the first is I founded a nonprofit with my friend and we basically mentor underserved elementary school children around Philadelphia and we teach them mathematics. It's really cool. It's really fun. If you want to donate, you can in the description below. You see what I did there? All right, anyways, um, I am or was, I'm not in high school anymore, um, the co-captain of our school's debate team, and I was the graduating class president. And vote for vote. And then outside of the main three, um, I submit pieces to our school's black magazine, I run track, I did DECA, I did some other stuff, but those are like other like side hustles, but like these are the main hustles. You get what I'm saying? Now, in terms of my advice, um, be passionate. Like, if you're passionate, then the stuff you do in high school doesn't feel like work. I can look back at high school, and I'm like, I wasn't really a workaholic, even though I really was. I just really liked the stuff that I was doing. I would research seven hours after doing five hours for homework. I would research for seven hours for debate, and then call it a day, because I really, I really, really enjoyed debate. I would work so much into trying to start this nonprofit, but I was really passionate about this issue. Like, if I were to start a nonprofit about climate change, I think it's a very serious issue. All due respect, but I wouldn't be passionate. I, I wouldn't be crazy about it. But I was so crazy about trying to make sure like that these children have a space to learn and stuff like that. And I think if you are passionate, I think that makes you able to work a lot without feeling like it's work. I look back at my high school career and I'm like, I just had fun. <laughs> It, do what you like basically and then second thing um my strategy was basically to join a lot of clubs as a freshman i joined like eight clubs as a freshman and i dropped most of them <laughs> and i focused on the ones that i just found myself enjoying the most all right now honors and awards me and my debate partner we locked in junior year we were we broke at both nationals ncfls and nsda um we got second in the state of pennsylvania we made it to the state championship round and then also we um, got to gold TOCs. Um, that's the debate um, for nonprofit stuff. Technically, I won this like Black Wharton Gala thing, um, but that is like somewhat related to my nonprofit. And then those were it. The other awards were scholarship awards. Room change. Anyways, um, essays. So these essays are going to sound really, really generic because I'm going to describe them within a sentence for the sake of time in this video. But let me just go over them. So personal statement, it's really just how you do it. I mean, I wrote about how I was black in STEM and how that led me to find my nonprofit. But this is all up to you. And I can't help you on that. <laughs> but the supplemental supplementals, they all vary between schools. But these supplemental essays, they all ask the same three questions, basically. They want you to have a perspective major and how would you use that perspective major in the school. So I always wrote about politics and I always said how I wanted to quantify race-based issues in America with data because in debate, when I was debating, they weren't quantified and that's what I wanted to do. Um, then they ask you the second question about like your intellectual diversity and how you're gonna engage with other perspectives and stuff like that. I wrote about dealing with my family, some flat earth thought and stuff like that. And then, they always want to ask you about like your quirky side and you showing your personality. I wrote about looking fly on prom night. <laughs> 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 All 
but yeah, something that basically really screams, oh, that's me. <laughs> and um, I really like dressing up. Lastly, letters of recommendation. So I asked a math teacher I spent three years with and an English teacher I spent two years with for my letters of recommendation. And then for MIT and for UPenn, I asked my UPenn professor at the time for a letter of recommendation as well. And yeah, those were my letters. Um, okay, and that's it. Um, this is all on a spectrum, obviously. I know people who got like 1350s who got into Harvard. I know people who got really high scores who did not get into the schools they wanted to. Like, obviously, this is all on a spectrum and stuff like that, and it's really... There's no formula, but it's my personal take and my personal opinions on a lot of these things. Um, and yeah, I hope that this video was short after I edited it because... I I don't like long stats videos. Like, bro, it's just a list of stats. You don't even need to go that deep into it. <laughs>